had a pretty standard childhood. Standard family. At least, what I remember about it. I never really thought of myself as special. One day I met a girl and we fell in love. And we were about to get married. And then, I went to bed. And I woke up. And there was this guy in a lab coat I'd never seen before standing over me saying, none of that actually ever happened. I was a, a robot. And that was kind of hard to take at first. If you ask most people, they can tell you exactly where they were when the late scientist Clifford Greel introduced the world to Androtron, the first artificial general intelligence. Representing years of research and development in Greel's secretive Los Angeles-based laboratories, he was designed to be absolutely, completely average. I don't really speak any other languages. I'm not gonna fix your car. I can bench press about half my weight. I like to chill. Chilling. Yeah, it's what I do most of the time. A naturally private individual, Androtron lives independently at 10737 Gilbert Avenue in Los Angeles, California. Hey there, welcome to my place. This is where I live, this is where I keep my plates, and also my bowls. So this is my bedroom, bathroom. Uh, sometimes I poop in here. One of the features that make Androtron seem human is his lifetime of artificial memories. You ever see that movie Blade Runner? You know how in Blade Runner the replicants have those fake memories implanted? Well, Clifford Greel did the same thing to me and implanted some fake Blade Runner style memories that never happened, like in Blade Runner. Waking up in a room I didn't know, strapped to a table, being told my family didn't exist. It was a little distressing at first. For a while there, I just wanted to get away. I've healed a little bit. Some days are better than others. While there still isn't a Mrs. Androtron, his search continues. I've been told that my, my blue skin brings out my blue eyes. I had a girl that wanted to date me until she found out that I was capable of emotions. He is anatomically complete and sexually active, although not as sexually active as he would like. While I am a machine that fucks, I wouldn't necessarily call myself a fucking machine. In my free time, I like uh, playing video games. I like to fly fish. I like to get out into nature and just fly fish. For some reason, I have a really hard time tying my shoes. It takes like a really long time. I struggle with my weight a little bit, which is weird because all I eat is this magnesium zinc paste. It really doesn't taste that great. For some reason, it all ends up right here. I try to get out and play hoops every now and then. I got a pretty okay J. I'm not much of a free throw shooter. At times, people have responded to Androtron with extreme emotions, not all of them positive. It's true that not everyone really like, likes me, or the fact that I exist. I'm sorry if a robot took a job at the factory that's not cool. I could take a punch. On some level, it kind of bothers me when people can't get past the whole robot thing, but I mean, I know it's kind of stupid that that bothers me because, I mean, why would they be able to get past the fact that I'm a robot? He is a towering scientific achievement. And while Androtron definitely isn't human, you have to admit, he sure looks like one. Especially if you're colorblind. Kind of weird that I'm a robot. 